No, uh, no, no, he can, he will not be trained. No, this, this, let me, this little, this little bitch here is not, ain't no Jedi. No, hold up, Yoda. Hold up. Shut up, George. This little bitch here ain't no Jedi. Moppet headed motherfucker. You ain't going to learn shit. First of all, you're angry. Second of all, you, you cry too much. You know, let it go. Okay. Your mother was a slave and, uh, you know, she's been up to some stuff. You and you ain't, and by the way, you ain't, no, shut up, George. Keep rolling. Shut up. This is how it should be. My lightsaber's purple, and by the way, which is racist. What is this purple? Everybody else, you know, don't, don't come at me. Don't come at me. What do you see now? Oh, a cup, a ship. Uh huh. Do you see my middle finger? <laughs> how, how about my boot in your ass? Do you see that? Get out of here. Why don't you put your hand in this box and feel pain? Oh, that's a different movie. Because you ripped it off, George. You flat out, you, you read Frank Herbert's Dune, and you said, oh, I know. I'll just redo this shit. No, fuck you, too. I heard, and you can deny or not deny, that, that you're not a massive fan of the films, but the TV shows, that's that's more your speed. Yeah, well, it's it really, uh, you know, it pays homage, as you said, it pays tribute to the yeah. uh, Joseph Campbell, uh, you know, mythological idea of the hero's journey and has that feel to it. Right. And there's and there's some really hot, uh, you know, Twi'leks in there, too. So some hot. Chicken. Is that was that a request? Be honest with me. When, yeah. you, when you left when, before you sold, did you say that every single television show moving forward had to have a hot Twi'lek? Yeah, that was in my contract. Uh, yeah. When I sold everything to Disney, I said, look, uh, we're going to actually change the Ewoks uh, hair color. Oh. But that's another story for another time. I'm thinking of putting like spikes on their backs oh. to make them a little more formidable. Roll them down the hill or something. Uh, yeah, you're getting it. Now you're okay. getting it. And it's that idea that's sort of Wiley Coyote idea of yeah. you would take. Well, let's say, for example, in the Battle of Endor. Yeah. Uh, you would have an Ewok. I don't know who the low grade fever, <laughs> whatever his name was, one of the medicine men who cares. But he's got spikes on his back. Right. And then Tila or whoever, one of the one of the guys pushes him down a cliff as he starts to roll. Yeah. The spikes begin to uh, gather up, you know, materials Barks. from the forest yeah. floor. Sure. sure. Bark, leaves, these kinds of things. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I have so much money. And um, yeah. and it becomes sort of like the idea of the snowball, the avalanche. Right. And then the stormtroopers. I'm so sorry. I'm so rich. It's I, it's amazing. Uh, the stormtroopers. They turn. They go. What? What's that? And then it's a big. Uh, it's a ball of. I stopped talking about Star Wars for a while because I was kind of over the, the fan base and people turning it political. And it was like, if you love the last Jedi, then you voted for this person. It was like, it's stupid. <laughs> I really, I really have to tell you, I love the last Jedi. I didn't like the rise of Skywalker. Very oh. bad movie, but last Jedi, very good movie. Very oh, wow. good director. I, Oh, geez. There you goes my tell. microphone. You, that you must be, it. that's yeah. the liberals. The liberals oh. did that. I but, think uh, you just, I think you lost a lot of the I think you lost a lot of voters saying you like that that uh, that movie, sir. It's a great movie. It takes big chances, big risks. Okay. I mean, you've got a purple haired, obviously a feminist in the movie, and she gets obliterated. It's beautiful. I love oh. watching that. You know how I feel about this whole Vader being redeemed thing, where it's like it's cute. You apologize to your kid right, right before you died, but um, <clears throat> you did some stuff. There's some other stuff. So, stuff. so what is your force ghost like? Are are you like Jacob Marley, where you just got to drag around a bunch of chains, but you still also get to be blue? It's you just get to hang out because because the end of Return of the Jedi, he's just hanging out. Now, what I think is that in in the next life, they're like, look douche we're gonna let you have this photo op to make your kid happy we're not right. doing this for you right we're doing this for the fans and so luke gets to see him and luke's like oh good dad's in a better place as soon as that photo op was done i think that they send darth vader down to the basement and they're like you are going to be mining souls or whatever you do in the next life totally. for eons before we ever let you see the light of day yeah. they asked you why you did the second one and you looked up and you just went like this that's it very honest. You just you just showed them that it's all about the money. It's all about the money. Don't let anybody tell you different. Right. That's how they, they dusted off Harrison Ford and got him to do the the hand solo ham sandwich, right. whatever that shit was. Yeah. And then they said to him in the final one, in quotes, you're gonna be a you're gonna be a ghost, and your son with the Dumbo ears is gonna turn. He's gonna go, hey, Dad, Dad, 
dad, what? My dreaming dad. And you're going to have a heartfelt scene as a ghost with your son, but you ain't going to shimmer blue. You're going to be normal looking. Mm. So it ain't going to make no sense. Now, I thought that in that movie, they should have had him use the force to flap his Dumbo ass ears and fly the hell out of there. That would have been a great ending. Adam Driver, Morgan. You're not a, you're not a big Adam Driver fan? I love Adam Driver. I'm just saying, in the context of the story, oh. and I told George this too, I said, have him flap his ears. But George can't do anything anymore. Is that, is that why it didn't happen? Because he, he just said he wasn't able to make I that. I think that was his concept. I think he said, oh. maybe we're going to have his. Yeah, that was the concept. We're going to have his ears oh. flap. Hey. Everything that went down with that dark saber, like what's the deal? You gotta win it in combat. If you don't win it in combat, come on in. Blow the leaves everywhere you gotta go. This is a perfect time to do it. Go ahead. Blow the leaves. Blow the leaves all over the place. Can just just you know what? Stick it in my ear. Stick the leaves in my ear, and blow it out of my nose, so maybe that I can make a cool sound effect and it doesn't sound like a leaf blower. How about that? Do you want to just come over and do the reviews for me, Mr. Leaf Blower? Just, come, just might as well. Come on in. That, come on in. That's right. That's right. Yeah, just come in. Come sit down right next to the dark saber, and and why don't you fight the dark saber with the fucking blower? Okay. Because it's like at this point, it's like I feel you're doing it on purpose. <laughs>